Hello and welcome to day four of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It is November 20th and it is Origin Day. So a load of luxury ships today. Um, so let's check out... Oh, wow, that 890 jump is so big. It's just, <laughs> it's just like a big old slice of cake in the middle of the Expo Hall. Um, so we've got the 100 series over here. So we've got a variety of different 100 series ships. These are starter ships with a slight luxury feel. The 125A, which is this one, has uh, a more combat sort of orientated um, sort of nod. Um, they have little uh, beds and storage on board. Uh, so that they're, they're, they're great multi-role single, single seater ships. Uh, you've got the 135C, which has a bit more cargo, is the idea. Yeah, all of these are just great to start the game with. Then you've got the 100i, which is uh, sort of more just general. Uh, so the base version, the cheapest. If you're going to start the game with a 100 series as a starter ship, I would recommend just the 100, just because it's cheaper, right? But it's up against a load of competition with the Sulen and the Avenger Titan, um, but also just the, the generally cheaper Mustang Alpha and Aurora MR. And so it's... Whatever you fancy, really, but they are cool looking. They've got an interior to walk around in. They are very cool ships. Um, and then in the center, we have this giant pizza slice or cake of a ship. It is the extremely luxury 890 jump. We could do a half an hour, at least half an hour video of just walking around this ship and its multiple decks. Uh, it's going to be able to do VIP transportation eventually at some point. It is a fantastic touring and exploration ship. It is basically a sort of um, luxury yacht corvette kind of hybrid. It's got a um, solid amount of sort of powerful systems and some good weapons and a hangar bay on top as well. So you can have ships landed in there. But its primary role is sort of luxury and touring and great as like a command vessel for a org um, or, or somewhere for org people to meet at a, at a larger org, that sort of stuff. Very, very cool ship. Very big. Very silly. Very expensive. I think it is $890. Um, we'll have a look at that in a second because it is on limited hull sale. So they do sell out sometimes. And they're one of the less popular ships, I think, when it terms of um, value to people just trying to buy them that the Idris and javelins they get sold out almost instantly you've got the 600i here so this is a solid alternative to um i suppose it's a bit larger than constellation um, again it's luxury touring but there are two variants of this there's the touring variant which is sort of for vip transport and just has a very nice interior and sort of nice living areas and that sort of stuff is the idea. And then you've got the Explorer variant, which focuses more on being able to um, have better scanners and some dedicated sort of exploring equipment to go and travel the world in style, or the universe in style is what I probably should say. Now, this ship is receiving a rework at the moment, especially on its rear section, which is going to be like the more modular section, but it's getting some heavy updates. Hopefully, Cloud Imperium will give us some more... Um, information exactly what's happening and when we're going to get that but we know that Clan Imperium are working on that at the moment so sort of bear that in mind these ships are pretty pretty fast they're very cool obviously that just the whole interior of this is changing um, the 890 jump is just a beast though oh I wonder what the 400i is uh, I think it's probably over in halls 2 and 3 what have we got in the only other hall? I say only other, uh, there is the Holly Suite that's still underneath. Um, okay, so we've got the 300 series and the 400i. So 300 series, I actually learnt how to um, fly in Vandal Swarm in the 325A, uh, interestingly, um, when it was uh, the older version. So these ships have been updated significantly since the original versions of the ship were, were out and they sort of had this big overhaul. Uh, this is the 350R, 350R, Racing ship. It is a very powerful, dedicated racer. I say dedicated racer. It's got a load of weapons on. Um, so I suppose you can multi-roll it, or if you want something that goes, uh, that's used as more of an interdictor um, or interceptor, and then it's probably pretty pretty good as an interceptor. Uh, we've got the 325A here. So 325A, interestingly, is supposed to 
see if this guy can actually open it, um, have a missile system that can lock onto multiple targets and fire missiles at multiple targets. It actually had that in its old version. Uh, it's got a nice little interior as well, so you can sleep in there. Um, it's one of the, it's the only ship I believe that's got the custom purchasing system. So when you buy it, you can choose a load of like the paints and the interior stuff and um, uh, s some interior items that it comes with. I think they wanted to do that for all the ships and then realized it was actually quite a lot of effort to do that and they'll just do it in game. Um, yeah, 325A is the sort of combat variant of the 300 series. And they're sort of um, medium fighter is the sort of what they're going for. Got the 315P over here, which is the Explorer slash tractor beam version. So it's got a tractor beam on, on its front, uh, but it's sort of solo, um, sort of low tier exploration but uh, and pathfinding, but also that tractor beam just makes it very useful for a load of different things. Uh, and then you've got the standard 300i. I, I do really like the looks of the, of, the, of the ship. Like, I do think it's cool. I think they've done a great job with the Origin ships. And I love the fact that this one was updated from the old 300s to, to the new ones. Um, as I said, it's got a... Do you want to see the... It's another ship. I'm not going to be able to do a 890, 890 jump run around just because it will take absolutely ages. But I have dedicated videos on that on my channel already, if you're interested. Um, but you've got a little kitchenette. You've got a uh, bed for sleeping, so it's got quite a long range. And then you've got your sort of luxury uh, view over here. All luxury materials and that sort of stuff. Ooh. Ha! And then, if you want something that's a sort of bit more constellation sized or a bit larger luxury sort of touring uh, ship, pretty good multi roll 400i. It, it's, it's sort of like your bog standard yacht that you'd get that um, semi rich people will go. You know what? I want a yacht. You can have uh, room for a vehicle. It's got solid cargo sort of bay. It's, um, yeah. It's got a good amount of armament. It is your alternative, effectively, to a Constellation. And I really like it. It's just... There are things like the Corsair or the Carrack. And there's a few others that I just enjoy the multi-role and focus of more. A luxury is not my... Not my cup of tea when it comes to ships. I'm much more function and uh, function over form. Corsair, uh, sort of Drake stuff. That's That makes me happier. But it's a very cool looking ship. Let's have a look at what's available in the Hollow Suite. So coming downstairs, we've got an M50. So this is basically a nice little racing ship. It is absolutely fantastic as a racer. It, 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 it is very much a dedicated racing ship. I mean, it has got... Has got little pew pews on it, but um, it is built to to go fast and to be agile and to change direction and stop on a dime. I love the fact you can see it sort of like at engines there. Uh, what else have we got? So is it a great interceptor as well? Um, this guy is uh, stop old stop and go man. I got the 85X shuttle here. Um, great little shuttle for um, two people to fly around in. Very, very useful. Comes with things like the 890 jump, I believe, and fits in the hangars there. And if you want a little shuttle um, or a, uh, I believe it's got. Does it have quantum? Can it quantum jump? Uh, I can't remember if it's got a quantum drive or not. You can tell me in the comments below. And obviously the Pisces does. Right, what have we got in here? Ah, so we've got the G12 Rover. Um, so this is sort of like the luxury um, Rover from Origin. Uh, I say luxury Rover, it's not the Lynx. It's sort of competing more with the sort of tumble cyclones. It's sort of smaller than that. Uh, I really like the way they look, this, 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 the G12s. I think they're very cool. I love this guy. Just just stop and go, man. Uh, and then, is this next one, but just big? 
Uh, feels like that's massive compared to what an X1 should be in size. Uh, but the X1 hover bikes we know are coming with, um, well, plan to come with Alpha 3.22 by the end of the year. So there's a whole series of them. And, uh, but they are basically luxury hover, hover bikes. Very cool stuff. I'm going to jump on the website and see what's actually on sale. But um, I encourage people to have a run around of the 890 Jump, that massive ship. Get lost on it. It's got it's got a load of stuff going on with it, um, but primarily that sort of luxury ship. But it, it, it's suitable for multi-roll. It's got medical bay. It's got uh, a load of stuff going on there. It's, it's suitable for, for exploring, for sure. Um, and it's very big, so you are going to need a crew to run it. Right, Origin Jump Works Day. Uh, let's have a look what's in the interactive magazine. Oh. Uh, some form of social influencer. Oh, no, that's going to be monstrous. And we've got the, the normal stuff after that. Um, I will chuck up these three videos uh, as part of this video um, contiguously now for you to watch um, if, if you are so inclined. And then we'll go into ship prices. Hi friends, it's your Molly and on my way to Orison. Stunning clouds and the planet is gorgeous. Big shout out to Origin Jump Works for hooking me up with this entire experience. We're on an 890 jump. Yacht life. Origin Jump Works has totally pulled out all the stops for this special intergalactic aerospace expo series. What a mouthful. But love, they totally hooked me up with the most luxe ride, the most happening cities in Stanton. Bye, Origin crew. Not sure what this is, but my niece will live for it. Look at Crusader HQ. Just standing here makes me feel rich. So apparently they're storm walls, not whales. Had to get a picture with the statue, duh. 100% tourist vibes. Like the total tourist that knocked over my Moby. Rude. Loki though, Orison is beautiful. These fountains, the cherry blossoms, everything. It's a moment. Anyway, y'all need to be here. Gonna end my day relaxing with a sunset cocktail. Thanks, Interblack. Inter... Whatever. IAE. Cheers, babes. New Spectrum post tomorrow. Friends, wait for the end of this video. Day two and tomorrow I'm blasting off to Microtech and the Intergalactic Aerospace. IAE. Y'all know what I mean. Light workout before my Stormwall tour. I'm seriously so excited for this and want to say thanks again to Origin, my amazing sponsors. People are obsessed with these whale Stormwalls. See, I'm learning. The person in this costume. I mean, how adorable. I'm on this shuttle thing, guys. Way less fancy than the Origin one and full of tourists. <gasps> Real Stormwalls. They are seriously amazing. Got back on land and things started to get real weird. First off, some people full on ran into me. Red flag numero uno. Didn't even notice the crusader security. Second red flag. Then in the middle of my food selfie, some randoms burst in and start shooting. Friends, this may be my last. Stay tuned for my next post to see if I survive. <gasps> oh my God. What happened? My head. <gasps> they must be like pirates. I I'm gonna keep rolling, see what happens. <sighs> the shuttle! There's my ride! Just gotta get over there. <sighs> oh, Crusader security! I'm saved! Sir, hey. Oh no. Ew, he killed him. Okay, Molly, keep it together. You got this. Ew, is that blood? Oh my god, nasty. This is seriously super disturbing. So much property damage. Like, ugh. Where is the shuttle? That looks like it could get me out of here. If I could just make it over there. You go over there. That's right. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Here goes nothing. <laughs> not sorry. That's not the shuttle.
Well, friends, that was wild, right? And now here I am back on this lovely 890 jump and headed to New Babbage for the IAE. Once again, basking in the opulence of the full Origin Jump Works experience. It obviously takes more than fanatical pirates to slow me down. See you at the expo, babes. So what is available ship and vehicle wise today? So the 100i, $50. It's, it's not too bad for a starter ship, right? Upgrade your, your starter to that um, if, you, if you really like the idea of it. Um, or get it in game. Um, the 125A and the sort of more combat variants, uh, that's $60. Uh, the 135C, the cargo variant, that's $65. But then you're sort of pushing against other ships like, well, why not buy a 300I? That's $60, right? So some of these ships you're going, I might as well just buy the ship up from that effectively so maybe grab a 300 series rather than a than a 100 series uh, the 315p and that's the sort of tractor beam and pathfinder explorer version 65 dollars uh, 325a combat variant 70 dollars the racing version 125 dollars for the 350r so that's obviously quite a big price difference um, but if you are serious about racing then it's certainly one to grab in game at the very least 400i is um, $250. There is a special war bond upgrade if you want to upgrade one of your ships to the 400i. You can get a discount um, if you are not using store credit. Um, I believe pretty much all the ships are coming with 10 years insurance this year. Um, and anything that is newly flyable and it's obviously coming with lifetime insurance if you buy a war bond. You've got the 600i. That's $475. Um, that's the Explorer version. So Explorer a version going to be focused on specifically that um, and the luxury uh, touring version which is a little bit less at $435 um, has more sort of prettier living areas um, and is better for VIP transportation right and um, remember the 600 um, touring and exploration are going to be um, heavily updated in the not too distant future um, Cloud Imperium are working on it at the moment you got yeah 85x that little shuttle um, $50. It's pretty expensive for that. Uh, talking about expensive, the 890 Jump, $950. Now, someone asked me, why $950? Why not more? I believe any ship that costs at least $1,000 comes with lifetime insurance um, as standard. I don't believe the 890 Jump does come with lifetime insurance as standard. I believe it comes with 10 years and because it's under $1,000. Under um, but uh, it's just an interesting piece of trivia. View offers. Now, is this... So it's on limited sale, and the first wave has immediately sold out. So bear that in mind. Um, you will be able to get this again at midnight and 8am UTC. Um, I did not think they were going to sell out this year. Uh, but we'll see what happens with the other two waves. And let me know if you were able to pick one up. Um, obviously, that 890 Jump, because of its med bay, and because of how it's like a giant um, Corvette sort of sized... Um, it's like sort of near capital um, luxury, right? Is the idea. Uh, we've got the G12 Rover. I never recommend buying ground vehicles. Get them all in game um, because, well, number one, this is concept um, at the moment, but uh, they're typically quite overpriced for how much you can just, uh, how easily you can get them in game, right? Um, Sixty dollars for that for the uh, G12A, which is the combat version of it. That's Sixty-five dollars. The G12R, which is the racing variant, that's $60. Uh, got the M50, $100 if you're after a serious racer. Again, it, it's different to the 350R. The 350R is going to be going faster in a straight line, whereas the M50 is probably going to have better acceleration and agility. Got the X1. Um, so this is planned to be dropping in 3.22 by the end of the year. Uh, that's $40 for the standard one. You've got the uh, Force version, um, and then uh, which is fifty dollars, and you've got the Velocity version uh, for for more specific racing uh, for forty five dollars. Uh, I I think they look kind of cool. They look like they look like rocket launchers in a sci fi game, right? So I, I think they're interesting. Um, but again, I'll gra be grabbing them in game once they're actually in game, and. Um, Remember, there's a three-month exclusivity period for when a ship's first flyable to it being actually purchasable in-game. So, sort of remember that. Th these um, 100 series of ships, why wouldn't I just buy a 300i? 
they're just they're just better. They're just better. Uh, any other interesting packages? Very expensive Origin Complete package. Um, but yeah, if you want to pick up a 890 jump, maybe that's a way of doing it. I'd say uh, you try try again if you're desperate for one in the next uh, wave at midnight and then at uh, 8 a.m. Um, I suspect that they aren't selling out as fast as the Idrises and Javelins are, which are obviously very hot. Um, but I'm interested to know if you picked up anything today in the Origin sale. Uh, what did you think of this lovely influencer? Um, I, I, I like the silliness of these magazines. They're, they're great. Like, Garmin Humble was good. It's was, it was a good laugh. Um, it's not Jax, but it, it's, it's certainly something that's, that's a good laugh. Um, what do you think of that? And uh, what day are you looking forward to at the Expo? Have you already picked something up? Um, are you looking forward to that RSI Minor on RSI Day that's in the event schedule? Oh, it says, let, 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 okay. RSI continues to innovate with a new Deep Space Minor. Uh, are you excited for that? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What is best in life? To crush your enemies? To see them driven before you? And to hear the lamentations of their women? No, of course not. It's NordVPN. I never saw Conan the Barbarian checking his bank balance and then watching some cool shows on Netflix, all while protecting his privacy and being super secure. To be honest, I can't even remember Conan wearing a shirt. Silly Conan. And now, a big old snake god's got your internet history. Good job. Don't be a Conan the Barbarian. Check out NordVPN. Links below for powerful discounts too. Do you like using your eye holes for extra immersion in Star Citizen and help aim and do some cool stuff? Well, you can with Toby Eye Track 5, which is on sale at the moment. This gives you native high precision head and eye tracking in Star Citizen. Very cool for general immersion, for combat both in ship or on foot. They are absolutely fantastic pieces of kit, and both Zinn and I have one. Use the links below to grab one or to find out more. Every month we've been giving away a ship for Star Citizen, but for November, to celebrate the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2953, we are giving away a load of different ships, each to a different person. The Avenger Titan, the Drake Cutter, the C8X Pisces, the Mustang Alpha, and the Nomad. All great starter ships, but also useful for any fleet. They all come with a game package and lifetime insurance. That's all you need to start playing Star Citizen. That's five prizes and five chances to win. Just comment on any of my videos made during November to be in for a chance of winning. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that goes the extra mile in supporting the channel via Patreon or the join button under my videos and then becoming a channel member please consider joining those fabulous people as well. It allows us to make daily content for Star Citizen and Squadron 42, delving into all the news, drama, development info, and gameplay that these games have to offer. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.